Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Um, first of all, I want to say a big thank you for 10,000 views on my video The Drive from Resident Evil 4. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to um, play the song. I did this arrangement um, by ear and it's tuned to E standard, so make sure your guitar is tuned from top to bottom E, A, D, G, B, E. I think the original track, the drive from Resident Evil 4, is tuned, um, the guitar in the track, I think, is tuned to um, drop D, but I did my arrangement in E standard. Before we start the tutorial, you can watch the original video. I put the link here. And if you need tabs, I've written them already. You can write me a message, a direct message on Instagram, or write me an email. I put my contact down below in the info box. Okay, let's start. playing the thumb technique um, and sometimes you're using your index finger too and with your left hand you're playing um, I'll go through the notes um, step by step you're uh, playing with your pinky on the fifth fret then you use Index finger to play the G string, and with the left hand you're doing a beret here on the um, second fret, and slowly you're playing this. Okay, so you play um, the second fret E string, third fret e st uh, A string. Red. Then you're playing these two strings, D and G string, and do a legato, uh, a pull off on the G string. Now another pull off. Sorry, this is the first one. I played slowly the part again. slowly again pull off then the G string on the uh, second fret you're still um, holding your index finger on the second fret that's important Okay, that's the first part. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now note for note on the second part from the intro. Again, you're doing the array on the first thread this time, and you're playing the. You start with the A string, and the index finger hits the G string at this one, and that's the second thread on the G string. Then you use a thumb again. Okay, so again. Remember to put the beret on the uh, index uh, on the first thread with your index finger. Pull off. Then two strings again. This time G and B string. No, no, that was wrong. Slowly, slowly again. Fourth, fourth fret. Third. This note is only a hammer on with your left hand. The right hand don't play a uh, here. finger on the second thread G string and your pinky on the fourth thread B string and your ring finger on the first uh, on the third thread on the B string and now you're doing it like this these two strings and then you do a pull off then again you're playing this the first thread and do a hammer on on the G string. Then G string second thread, pull off, fourth thread on the D string, pull off third thread and D string. Then you do a hammer on first, fourth. string first fret fourth then you're playing the second thread on the G string B string and third thread on the B string and that This time you're playing a beret on the fifth thread with your index finger and with your ring finger you're playing the seventh thread on the A string. Okay? And you do a little um, Apache roll uh, sending. technique okay with the uh, index and ring finger on the right hand and on the left hand you're playing seventh fret then you do a slide to 
the second thread and slide with the uh, uh, pinky. So again, seven, fifth, fourth, second, fifth, fourth, and then you're playing with the thumb again. You're playing the second thread on the A string, the first thread on the D string, and the fourth thread you keep holding from this um, little uh, walk down. And now on the right hand, you're playing an arpeggio again, and then the first thread on the B string and a pull off. So again slowly. Um, you put your on the left hand the ring finger on the third fret B string, your middle finger on the third fret G string and the uh, the index finger on the third fret uh, E string, and you're doing a patchy roll again with your right hand. Okay, so ascending and then middle index and thumb again, and now you're um, changing your left hand. So again, and when you play the f uh, second thread on the, uh, the G string, you play the A string, and do um, the G string. You hit the G string with the index finger again slowly. you're playing with your left hand a beret again on the second thread with your index finger and with your right hand you're doing thumb picking again after these two notes you hit the G string with your index finger and you're doing this and this is a um, pull off again so slowly again these two notes then thumb picking second thread a string a uh, d string fourth thread a string second oh sorry again so the last note you're playing um, third thread on the g string and do a pull off with your left hand okay Again, sorry. Okay, so after these two notes, the intro is done. Now it's getting a bit easier. The um, first sequence is a bit tough. The last thing to say about the intro um, is the parts, okay? This one... This and you will repeat once and after the second you're playing the third and fourth part of the intro. Okay, and then it goes to the strumming part. Um, I only 
the two chords in the E type. The first chord is A minor. And the second is B major. With the right hand I'll do strumming like this. notes in it. If, it. if I play it a little bit faster, and that's everything. Um, I think it repeats, I don't know, the. I didn't count it out, but you can um, watch the original video and count it for yourself, then you'll learn it a bit better as uh, if I only would tell you and that's it that's it for the strumming part part everyone knows and loves. It's built in chords again and it's um, an A minor A minor again but only this part of the chord you um, do not play the E and A string you only need the chord from the D string and you're doing the ascending arpeggio again with your right hand then with your pinky on your left hand you play the eighth string, uh, the eighth fret I mean, um, on the E string. So like this. Then you move your whole hand and your pinky one thread, so you are in the seventh. Okay, in this part you'll need again the A minor chord and after this, after this change, this chord is in G7 and I have to look up the English word for this uh, chord but I think it's called G7 in, in English because this would be G major and you move down the octave two notes and so you get the dominant seventh I don't know I have to look up um, the English word but it's this chord so you got um, in the four in the fifth thread D string seventh thread G string sixth thread B string and seventh thread uh, E string this chord shape you'll move around after um, playing this. Okay, so again it's with the right hand you're playing a patio again. Your piccato. So um, after 
से जो the G seventh you move down um, two frets to F seven and then to E seven. It's still the same uh, chord shape you use. part of the song and you'll play it over and over again you can watch the you can count it out in the original video so one time slowly again at this point thumb and ring finger at the same time. And that's it. These are again um, five, uh, but only now it's it's four four chords to play. It's um, maybe you know the chords. These are basic chords: um, A minor, G major, but um, without the E string, F major, but open. Uh, not uh, played with beret, so open and E major, and that's that's um, typically flamenco. So you got this uh, um, Spanish cadence here in the song. And last chord of the song is A minor F nine, but you don't have to play this chord completely. I'll show you. The outro starts with A minor. You're playing an arpeggio again with your right hand. With your left hand you're playing an hammer on pull off kind of thing. Is wrong you're playing only a hammer on and then uh, the normal tone of the chord that's hammer on and this tone you're only playing you do not pull off that's the picking with the right hand and it repeats over 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 and over again you're only changing the chords now Thread on the B string. Then you're moving down to F major. Then your um, right hand moving moves up um, one string. So you're playing the E string with your thumb now. On the left hand you this hammer on thing on the fourth string uh, fourth fret on the G string and the last chord is E major again slowly But 
without the um, fifth, without the E. You leave away the E and you only have um, these two notes. So the first thread B string and the fourth thread G string and you're playing descending. And the last note is the um, first thread B string. Okay? Song to drive on guitar. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hoped I um, could help you. I know my English isn't the best. I have to train again. Um, but I think it's, it gets um, better and better if I do more tutorials. I'll um, look up the, the chord names in English and all this stuff. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, you can leave a like and we'll see us again in the next video. Goodbye.